It's not my strong point, you know, fashion. Oh, I'd never have guessed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll catch you later. Yeah, I'll leave her a note. Uh, would you like a cup of tea? I've got one brewed. Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I've, um, I've got things to do. Some other time then, eh? See ya. Yeah, see ya. Well, it's no good. I should be getting my cards if I sit here much longer. Oh, Alf won't mind if you're late for once. That's what makes it worse. I mean, I could take the whole morning off if he wasn't so easy going. It's because he's so good that I have to go in. Well, you can leave this lot. We'll see to him, won't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Thanks very much. I will. Uh, when are you two going back? You will still be here tonight, won't yes, you? Yes, we've hardly had a chance to talk. Well, I suppose we could go back tomorrow. Yeah. Good. Good. Right, I'll see you later then. And I'll see you later in all. Uh, yeah, I'm staying. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 See ya. Oh, I suppose you newspaper types don't start till the pub's open. Us newspaper types would have started before now if it weren't for your sister. She'd taken Tracy to school and disappeared to work before most of us were awake. Yeah, but now, why can't I wake up like that? I mean, we are meant to be twins. Yeah, well, she drinks less than you do. <laughs> <laughs> no, it can't be that. I reckon it's because she's in love. That's what's done it. Right, well, what are you going to do today? Show Jessica the sights? Didn't know there were any. There's a lot of very beautiful countryside. Oh, yeah, that. Uh, is that Mike's factory across the road? Yeah. So, um, did you know him before you even met Susan, then? Sort of, yeah. Right, well, i better be off, too. He seems like a, you know, a nice enough sort of chap. I mean, he's not exactly what I pictured, but... You know, when you see him and Sue together, they look kind of right somehow. You're not saying much? Me? Well, it's what Susan thinks that matters, isn't it? See you both later, then. Mm. Bye. Yeah, yeah bye. bye. I told you. And I told you, you were wrong. He didn't exactly sing Mike's praises, though, did he? Well, no. He didn't exactly start gnashing his teeth, either. I mean, all right, he wishes Mike were a bit more Sue's age and he's not exactly the type you had in mind for her. Taking a bit of time to get used to it, that's all. He hates him. I mean, it would have been bad if it was someone else's girl, someone we didn't know. But no, it wasn't someone else's girl, was it? It was Kev, Kev's girl. Kev is supposed to be your mate. Look, I know who Kev is, all right. Well, it didn't look like it last night when you were dancing with Sally. And he was there as well. I mean, what must he have thought? I mean, did you stop to ask yourself? No, because I knew you'd be asking me about it this morning. It's not a joke, Terry. Look, I wasn't forcing her or anything. It takes two to tango and all that other stuff. Anyway, I reckon I'm doing him a favour. I don't think she's right for him. But it's your mate's girl. You just don't take your mate's girl. You just don't. Suppose she'd been my girl. Suppose Sally had been my girl. Would you have done the same to me? Yeah. Oh. <coughs> Morning, beautiful. I, uh, I don't feel right, beautiful. It's it rotten when all drinks are free. I mean, normally I can't afford to suck too much. When it's free, you don't know when to stop. Kula was just saying what an ace dancer he thought you were. Aw, oh, ta. Hey? Mind, it depends who I'm dancing with. Me and all. Come on, Terry, let's get a move on, eh? He's keen on, is this lad? Oh, any you not? Well, I can be very keen, me darling, given the right encouragement. Come on, Terry. I'm coming. Look, OK, I'm moving, all right? See you this dinner time. Well, I did say I'd see Kevin Rovers. No, oh, it'd be all right. You'll find someone to talk to. You can't leave that phone till I get back, can you? Not if you say not. I do. See you later. See you. Look, Teddy, I'm not going to keep going on about this. Good. Because you know how I feel. Yeah. But I'd just like to say I'm disappointed. Very disappointed indeed. Well, I hope I'm not going to be. Oh. Come here, listen. It's not that I don't want the car, or that I don't appreciate it. So what's your problem? There's no real problem. It's just that I think it'll make things worse between you and my dad. Ah. What's he said now? He hasn't said anything. I haven't told him about it yet. Well, why not? Well, because... He spent a lot of money on that party last night. <laughs> not half as much as I spent on that car. Yeah, that's it, exactly. He'll think that you bought that car just to sort of put one over on him. He will. That's the way his mind works. That's the first thing he'll think of. He can think whatever he likes. That's his privilege. Look, I've gone a long way to meet your father. Too far, if you want my honest opinion. I mean, I agree to you moving back in the house, and I went to that party through last night. I don't think his motives for doing that were all that straightforward. What do you mean? I mean, 
Ah, oh, forget it. I want you to have that car. Not because of what he might think, because believe it or not, that doesn't worry me. It's just a... Well... It's a present from me. All right. Thanks. Still not all that happy about it, though, are you? I am just not happy about having to tell Dad. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we call it a wedding present, eh? A combined birthday and wedding present. Eh? I mean, that way I'm not competing. I mean, uh, it's something different, isn't it? That's great. And you wouldn't mind that? Nah, call it what you like as long as you're happy and you keep the thing. Oh. You are good to me. Nah. Yes, you are. You're wonderful. Mind you, if we're going to call it a wedding present, uh, yeah. it'd be nice to know when the date is, wouldn't it? Yeah, I suppose it would, really. I mean, we could fix a date now between ourselves, but, well, we're supposed to keep your father happy. Oh, all right. I'll ask him. I'll ask him tonight. No, I'm just waiting on my equipment. Then I shall be providing the finest hairdressing service in the north of England. Oh, is that an int? Listen, I hope you're going to be one of my first customers, Bet. You have got the most beautiful heads of hair. I think we should both work at keeping it that way, don't you? Well, you might not thank me for saying it, but I remember him in short trousers and a fair owl jersey playing marbles out in this street. Ah. <laughs> we had quite a collection. We had cat's eyes, ordinaries and lusters. Kept them all in three glass jars. Cat's eyes, ordinaries? Oh, she hasn't lived. The types of marbles. I'm trying to remember. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'd better be getting back over the road. Factory? Yes, I work there part-time. Oh, well, um, what did you think about Sue's engagement? I mean, uh, did it come as a surprise or what? She never gives up. Well, I, uh, I suppose it was something of a surprise, yes. Why? Oh, not for any particular reason, just that it all happened rather quickly. Anyway, have a good journey if I don't see you again before you go. Bye. Bye-bye. You know, I didn't know you were subject to these strange obsessions. Why do you think I'd go around with you? Right, true. And it's not a strange obsession. I still think I'm right. Yes, well, you see, Peter over there, that's Susan's twin, and they both came from Ken's first marriage to Valerie. Oh, he was married before Deirdre, then? Oh, yes, twice. But they both had very tragic ends and all. I mean, Valerie, she was killed in an accident. But then Ken's second wife, Janet, she took her own life. Oh. Mm. Yeah, to look at Ken, well, you'd never imagine, would you, there'd been anything like that in his life? No. Still, everybody has a secret, lovey, if only we knew them. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose they do. Mm. Um, do you go out a lot? Well, I pop in here most nights if you call that going out. Well, that's where boys have it easier. You can just go out for a drink. Boys have it easier? I mean, do you really believe that boys have it easier? Oh, yeah, in all sorts of ways. Oh, no, girls have it easier. Believe me, they've got to have. Thank you, Hi. Hi. Hiya. Hiya. You, uh, I haven't seen Sally, have you? Well, I saw her this morning in the yard. Oh, I think she'll be there now. Well, if she's not here, which she isn't, I suppose she could be, yeah. Thanks. Yes, here. Oh, no. What's up? Disaster. Oh, hello, Jack. Hi, Mrs. O. Oh, you haven't gone yet, then? Oh, you don't get rid of us that easily. <laughs> and how did your party go? Did you all enjoy yourselves? Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Mr. Baldwin turned up, did he? Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, that's something to be thankful for. That's if it all went off without any uh, repetition. Repetition? Well, you must have heard. I mean, I'm not saying anything that isn't common knowledge when I tell you that the last time them two was together, it got to fisticuffs. What, Mike Baldwin and me dad? Yeah. Right, one, two, your dad give Mr Baldwin. Left him with a face out here. Any road, I'm glad you had none of that to spoil your party. <laughs> I hate to say it, but you were right. Yeah, said you might be here. Well, I had to stop by the farm. Oh? 
Still, can I see you tomorrow? Why? Thank you having a dinner now or now? All right, mate. There you go. Tripping with the nigger just like you wanted. Ta. What do you reckon to last night? Know what she's putting back the ale? He's all right. You have a word with you? What about? Well, in the yard. You reckon he wants to buy something? Shut <laughs> the door. What's going on, eh? Going on? Yeah, you know what I mean. Between you and Sally. Oh, I'll do it as a favour, mate. Oh, you look like you was doing yourself a favour last night, the way you was dancing with her. I was dancing with other girls, I know. Yeah, well, I wasn't going out with them, was I? And now this? No, what? I bought her some chips. Is that a crime now, yeah, well, is it? she's supposed to be meeting me in the Rovers. Well, how was I supposed to know? Well, did she not say out? Well, she probably never got the chance. I mean, I asked her to stop by the phone and we were rushing out. Well, I mean, w what is this, eh? I mean, I thought you'd be dead chuffed that we give her a job. I am. I'm not talking about the job. Look, if you want me to stop her, just say I the word. I don't want you to stop her, but I don't want you messing around with her either. She's going out with me, not you. I know. Right then. Have a chip. Before you say anything, I finished early. Oh, I'm making up for your late start, eh? Something like that, yeah. Well, where have you been? Anywhere interesting? Somewhere called the Red Wreck, where Peter used to fly his kite. Uh, as I remember it, he used to watch me trying to fly it. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> well, anyway, shall I make us all a cup of tea? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. No, it's all right. Uh, uh, uh. Little Bird's been telling me that uh, you and Mike don't get on. In fact, you don't get on so much that you uh, thumped him. What Little Bird is this? Mrs Ogden. Mm. And I, I know you think there's a bit of an age gap, but... All right, so now you know. I don't approve the engagement. I, uh, well, I just don't. But I'm not going to give you my reasons, they're private. And uh, I'd be obliged if we could just leave it at that. All right. But I think I've worked out a bit more for myself. Well, that party last night, you weren't by uh, any chance trying to make Mike feel out of place, were you? Oh, so that's why I think I did it. Oh, no, not, in, not entirely, but, well, you did seem to be inviting everyone under the age of 25 you could lay your hands on. Just thought you might be trying to make a point, that's all. Like I say, it's not something I want to talk about. Yeah, OK, but just in case that was the idea, I don't think it worked. No? Most of us ended up wishing we had his energy. Oh, hello. Uh, locked up the office. I didn't know where you got to. Oh, I went to collect something. Something that I'd quite like you to see. Hi. Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah, in a minute. Do you want to come and look at this first? It's the present from Mike. Oh. You coming, Dad? I am, yes. Hey. He gave you this for your birthday? Oh, well, it's not just for my birthday. It's more of a wedding present as well. Oh, it is, is it? Yeah, combined. Birthday and wedding present. Very nice. It's fantastic. I must think the world of you. Yeah. I don't think my dad does, though. Ah, oh, well. Our dad's been a bit more devious than you think. Why is he looking so sick? Because this car's just proved he's been wasting both his time and his money. Jenny? Jan? Oh, oh hello. hello. Come in. Uh, you wondering where Jenny is? Well, I was, yes. She's in my flat trying on those clothes I told you about. Ah. Oh, I hope you weren't worried about her. No, no, I'm used to coming back to empty flats. Well, seeing that she'll be occupied for the next ten minutes, why don't we have that cup of tea we didn't have time for this morning? Oh, no, thanks. I'm not no, going to charge you for it, you know. <laughs> I know. But you don't like tea, would you like a cup of coffee, something like that? Gin and tonic, I'm maybe? supposed to be supervising your daughter's mannequin parade. OK, I'll leave it for now, but uh, I want you to know I'm very grateful for all the time you're taking with her. Oh, it's a pleasure. And I'll keep the kettle on till you do find a spare five minutes. Might be a while. I don't mind waiting. Fancy a pint? Well, I've arranged to meet Tina in the Rovers, so I'd better get myself off and get changed. Well, I just remember you said that. Hey? Well, I was willing to settle for a pint, wasn't I? Looks like I'll have to settle for something else now. <laughs> Any jobs for us, darling? One, and I've brought it down. Can I go now? 
Thought you were never going to get back. There's no rushes, huh? There is. I want my tea. And uh, how about let me take you out after that? Oh, uh, did Kevin find you this little time? Yeah. Oh, good, because he was in the Rovers looking for you. Curly, haven't you got something to do outside? No. Hello. Oh. Oh, what's this, a board meeting? Oh, hello, Mrs Roberts. <laughs> oh, now, you said you was cheap and cheerful on your shift stuff, right? Hey, which is cheap and which is cheerful. Is it eh? a job you want doing? Yes, it is. I've got a whole lot of hairdressing stuff coming to get into my front room at the minute. You can't open the door for all the junk that's stacked up in there. Well, you've come to the right place, Curly. What? Here you are. Sit down and see to the lady. Oh, yes, yeah, see to me, Curly. We'll uh, get out your way. Now, listen, it can be any time next week. I'll see you tonight, then. Why? Well, it's not going to be the Rovers, I can promise you that. No. You won't say anything to Kevin. No chance. Why should I? I'll pick you up in the van, eh? Eight o'clock at the corner of our street. See you. See you. Right, give me a shout when you're coming round, then, will, will you? Will do, Mrs. Oh, Robert. lovely. See you then. Ta-da. Ta Bye, love. Well, curly lad, looks like you cracked it. Well, yeah, I've come to an arrangement with Mrs. Roberts, yeah. And as for any arrangements you've made, Terry, I don't want to know, all right? I don't know anything about it, all right? Now then, Mrs. Oak. No, no, my treat this. Uh, I'll have a light ale, yeah. please, Fatty, and uh, a pint, is it? Yeah, please. Right. Oh, evening, Mr. Baldwin. Hello, Oda. So, you're uh, not out with your young lady tonight, then? No, we're uh, all washed up after last night. Got some sleep to catch up on. Oh, do you hear that, Betty? <laughs> Worn out with partying, these young guns. Oh, they have a hard time of it and all. Hey, up here's another pair of them. Hi, hey, Kev. Hello, Mrs. Oak. Hello, Kelly. That's Curly's young lady, is it? Looks very nice. Is she from round here? I don't know. I have, uh, just go and have a quick word with him. Won't be a minute. <laughs> oh, you'll be as long as you like, love. <laughs> you know, take us a wee to death the way they all make for that snug. I don't know whatever Albert Nina would have made of it. <laughs> I, uh, just wondered, did Teddy say out about this dinner? Uh, say out? How yeah, about me? How about what I said? Uh, Kev, oi, your drink's over here, love. Oh, thanks. Right. Do you want anything? Oh, uh, two halves of lager, please, Betty. Right. Only I uh, had a bit of a go at him over the I feel a bit deaf now, like, but I got the idea he was fancying. So I told him to lay off. Oh, oh, I see. I think he's got a wandering eye onto that, Terry. Well, he seems that sort to me. Yeah, I don't want him to think we fell out, though. You know, I mean, I mean, he won't go on about me, that was he? No, no, Kev. You've got nothing to worry about on that score. I mean, you don't want to lose your mates, do you? Right. I am. Thanks, love. Well, I'm expecting great things at your wedding, Michael. Marquees, top hats, roast pheasant like as not. Well, why'd you say that? You what? After last night's shindy? I mean, if Ken Barlow's going to lay on a thrash like that for his daughter's 21st, what's he going to do when she gets wet? Oh, uh, Brad's father will be paying them, will he? You know, Hilda, you have a knack of getting straight to them questions that the rest of us shy away from. Well, I'm only asking. He doesn't have to answer. Of course he has to answer. Well, will he be paying or what? I imagine normal arrangements will apply. Why shouldn't they? Well, I mean, with uh, you being situated like you are and him being situated like he is. Yeah. We are hoping to announce our wedding plans in a not-too-distant future. All right? <laughs> I'm just going to go and pick Tracy up from her mates. Oh, OK. Shan't be long. Right, bye. Bye, love. Thanks. Me and Mike have been having a chat and, uh, well, we've decided that we really should be setting a date. But we didn't really want to do it without consulting you first. So what do you think? Well, you know my thoughts on that subject. Yes. And they haven't changed and they're not going to change. But if you're determined to go through with it, all I can say is I'm going to pay for it and it's going to be the sort of wedding I would want to give my daughter. Yeah, exactly. That's why I asked you. Which means it can't be for quite some time. What do you mean? Well, I mean, think about it, Susan. A party last night cost a great deal of money. Not that I begrudge it, not one penny of it, but, uh, well, it doesn't leave me in any sort of position to pay for a wedding. Not for some months and years to come. Oh, come on, then. We can't just wait forever. I'm oh, sorry, but uh, I'm not made of money, and what I <coughs> did have saved went on the party last night. I mean, it may not be forever, but uh, you're going to have to wait. You're certainly going to have to resign yourself to that. 